In this video, I wanted to just show you a another update on what's going on in the gold and silver market. Um, and particularly, I wanted to speak about the options expiration and the rollover of the futures contracts and how that puts downward pressure on the metals prices and creates opportunity for profit for many of the banks and the big entities on the COMEX futures market. You can find the details of this in module two in my physical precious metals training series as well. Uh, this is a snapshot of the CME group website, which shows the details of the gold contract. You can see that it uh, is a hundred ounces per contract and it settles for the physical at the end of the trading month. Uh, there are a number of months that are regularly and actively traded. You can see here that these are the uh, months that have trade settlement, February, April, June, August, and December. And uh, we're coming to the end of one of these trading contracts right now, the June one. And right here, delivery period. Uh, delivery may take place on any business day beginning on the first business day of the delivery month or any subsequent business day of the delivery month but not later than the last business day of the current delivery month. So right now people are getting ready for closing of the June contract. And you can see here that the volume has increased substantially at the end of the month because it's closing out for the June delivery. And you can see here the open interest is falling. That means the amount of people that are uh, transacting in this contract is closing out. People are closing out their positions yesterday, 22,000 closed. Only a very small portion of these contracts that are traded throughout the, the months leading up to the delivery month will actually stand for delivery. Most of the contracts are closed. So if you are a buyer of gold, then you have to sell it. If you have sold gold, then you have to buy it back. And that's for a profit or a loss, depending on the price point at which you entered. If only a slightly larger percentage stood for delivery, there would be no more metal left in the COMEX warehouses and the price of gold and silver would skyrocket. And I do believe that will happen one day, uh, but it looks like it's not going to be this month. Anyway, let me take you over to the options contracts, which are a derivative of the gold futures contracts. And these close out even earlier than the futures contracts that are settled for delivery. I'm going to focus on the call options here, and that is the right to own it from a particular price point within a particular time. And for that, you pay a premium, you pay a commission to somebody. And you can see from this page over here that the options contracts uh, the between the calls and the puts, the calls have a lot more volume. There's a lot more people that are taking positions in the call options, which is where these guys make a lot of their money. Okay, let me break this down into a real life example. The next delivery date for the gold contract is August, and presently it's trading at 1188 per troy ounce, and each contract represents 100 ounces. So uh, these are the price points at which you can buy or sell the right to own it or sell it. And let's say in this example, since it's trading presently at 1188, we're going to pretend that we're a bank and we're going to sell to someone else the right to buy it at 25, uh, sorry, 1190. And for that promise, we're going to collect $25.80 per troy ounce. And since there's 100 troy ounces in each contract, that is $2,580. So if at expiration point, the price of gold, the price of this contract, the August 2015 contract, is trading below $1,190, then this contract expires worthless and me, the bank, would be able to collect and keep as profit the total $2,580 collected from whoever bought it from us. 
So there is a massive financial incentive for these banks and institutions that sell these type of contracts to push the price down at expiration time so that they can collect the premiums, all this money, for selling these promises to other people. As it turns out, it also makes it an opportune time to start buying or investing in the precious metals for a move up when everyone else is pushing liquidation or pushing the price down. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions about this. As I mentioned in my previous video, I do think that the price around 1175 area is going to hold. If not, then we may move to the 1150 area. And if that holds, then we probably will retest the 1250 area. If not, then we may go down to the 1050 area, which would be, in my opinion, probably a brief and wonderful opportunity to buy at probably the lowest prices in the next stage of this bull market. And with that thought, I'll leave you and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.